All of Sunny Corinthas' troubles seem to go back to the Pikeman Group. The General Hospital recap for August 21, 2023, features Sunny trying to figure out what's really going on with the Pikeman Group. In this episode, Sunny sent Betty away before summoning Valentine. Anna still wondered why Valentine was lying to her as she leaned on Robert for comfort. Carly was thrilled to get a call from Drew, who later had a run in with Cyrus. Finally, Olivia and Nettie shared musical time after we got to hear Monica's voice. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the details. Anna, Finola Hughes, woke wondering where Valentine, James Patrick Stewart, was, and when she didn't find him, she tried to snoop through his things to find what he was hiding. Valentine returned before she could find anything. He told her he was at ELQ and laid it on thick about the water main breaking having no idea she knew he was lying. Anna soon left the room just as Valentin got a text from Sonny, Maury Spinard, to come see him. Once Valentin was gone, Robert, Tristan Rogers, stopped by after learning about the fire days after it happened. Anna broke down in his arms after keeping so many emotions inside. All of her memories seemed gone and she wasn't sure what to do. He was even her moral support as she called Robin, Kimberly McCullough, with the news. Betty, Ella Lantini, wanted to know why Mason, Nathaniel Gray, insisted that she still be a nanny after she already handed him a flash drive with the goods. When Sonny allowed her into his living room, he told her she was not getting anywhere near Avery, Ava, and Grace Scarola. Of course, he was playing with her and soon told her Avery was sick. After he sent Betty away, he asked Dex, even Hofer, to follow her before assuring Ava, Mora West, that everything was going according to plan. Betty ended up at the Metro Court Pool ordering some food and drink with extra cash Sonny gave her. That's where she ran into a rude Jocelyn, Eden McCoy. She did her best to start an argument with Betty. But then Dex showed up and kissed her. He tried to use hanging with Jocelyn as a cover while listening to Betty's phone convo with Mason. When Betty suddenly left, so did Dex, confusing Jocelyn. Sonny was angry at Valentine for the Pikeman mess and wanted to know what he really got him into. Valentine had to admit there was some trouble in the Pikeman group, but more trouble was coming. Sonny wanted out and didn't care when Valentine told him it wasn't easy to get out. Sonny assured Valentine he was a big boy and could care for himself. Olivia, Lisa Lo Cicero, and Nettie, Wally Kurth bonded over food in the morning. Nettie liked cold lasagna, and this completely freaked Olivia out. Nettie had to point out once again that he was not Ned as Olivia tried to find out what he was doing the night before. He claimed he was writing music because it made him who he was, helping Olivia see a new side of this new man in front of her. When Nettie left the room to get his guitar, Monica, Leslie Charlison, called, and we even heard her voice. She wanted to check how Nettie and Tracy, Jane Elliott, were doing and was surprised to hear that Nettie was still Eddie. Olivia insisted that things were okay before hanging up to hear a song Nettie wrote for her. Jocelyn prepared to go back to her pre-med life as Carly, Laura Wright, waited for news on Drew, Cameron Matheson. She finally got a call from Drew, meaning he was out of solitary confinement. She accidentally let it slip that Sonny helped get him out of solitary early, but at least Drew was grateful. However, Carly was not happy when she learned that Cyrus, Jeff Kober, was the one who Drew was defending when he was punished. However, she was happy when Drew invited her for a visit since she missed and loved him.